I am back. Can you hear me, Joy Roth? Well, that was annoying. Excellent, thank you, Joy Roth. Yeah, that was uh, that was super annoying. Just give us uh, another couple of minutes while people are still rolling back in. Thanks for coming back and checking things out. Hey, what the heck? Oh, one of those. Thanks for hopping back over here while we sort out technical difficulties. Yes, try again. We will, Maxi. Uh, I just can't seem to catch a break on streams lately. Every single one has had a restart. And I, I feel like that's been happening a lot to Enra as well lately. Not sure if that is Streamlabs or if uh, it's YouTube or if they just can't communicate together. Excellent. Glad the audio is doing well. Thanks for popping back in, The Godfather. We are still at this base. Cool little bedroom going on. Yeah, I was just streaming away, streaming away, and then looked up and realized that it had been cut off for some indeterminate amount of time. All right. I think we are going to move along. So let me get my ship over here. Let's see, which ship do I want? No. There we go. <laughs> I am in a room by myself talking. Uh, that's been a weird thing for me to get over in the middle of all of this. Uh, but it's hilarious and 100% real. All right, let's get back to the portal. We're going to move on to the next base on my list. After we go through. And here we go. Jump right in. Hey, Culinary Zest, thanks for coming back around and joining us again. All right, next, we are going to, to another ship build. Also in Eisentan. Let's get this next address up, get it ready to go. All right, we've got there, there, there.
two birds. Uh, we've got a ship. And, got that. and we've got us a Diplo. Let's do it. Did that seemed oddly slower than normal? That whole cut sequence seemed very oddly slow. And look at the everything's still at, at an angle. Like what is up with this? Oh yeah. Oh hey ship. Hello my freighter. All right, this is another ship build, like I was saying. And once again, we are checking out phase four that has not been released yet for Distant World Tours. I got an advanced uh, edition with some of the bases all listed in there. And more will be released soon. Okay, this system was discovered by Die Pi Die. Okay. Hop into the ship. Oh, my dreadnought. What did I name my dreadnought? I don't know if it has a name on this. Nope. That's what it was. That's what it came with. I have not named my freighter on this save yet. Well, let's see, what do we have here? Smuggler's Retreat. It's actually a bunch of bases, it looks like. A little fishing shack. What else? Crin base. Come on, pop up. Okay, that one's not popping up. Chirpy chirp. Gary's off the ledge resort. Oh, look at that sunset. Short lived, but lovely. All right, I believe this is the one we are coming to see. I am I am unsure as, as to whether or not the pie is a lie. Uh, that uh, has yet to be seen. But someone here wants it to die. And has made it their entire no man's per no man's sky personality. The cake is the truth. Oh, well, check it out. A little nip nip harvest or replanting looks like uh, going to replant a little bit oh yeah I love this yeah that's just a great part so many things could be done with that what do we have here It's like uh, some kind of, I don't know if I had to guess, this almost looks like it was, uh, it's a model of a, a species that no longer lives here. Not quite sure, but it looks cool. I do like the little spotlight using the planter. What else? Got the planter. Oh, and then that light is covering it. Shrunken down ceiling lights. Okay. And then a pill light in the center. That's pretty nifty. That I have not seen anyone do that before. That is pretty sweet. I dig it.
Oh, geez, who got silenced? Oh, God. Man, Streamlabs, you are way too overzealous with this shit. I need to figure out what the hell that setting is that keeps this going. Oh, nice. Oh, I dig it. This is, that's a great little chess set right there. Yeah, let's see if I can find the base computer here. Joyroth. And see if I can figure out whose base this is. Nope. Chirpy chirp. Oh, that's uh, Explorer's Yacht. Oh, this it could be Satomi. I'm not. Let's uh, investigate a little bit more. Just can't locate this base computer. The Luna Hotel, weary traveler. Hey, Leonaris. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, a little food trailer, nice. Oh, I love it. Oh, that is really cool. A little, little Cafe 42. Oh, man, that's nice. Let's uh, get in here a little bit more. Oh, look, the little sink with the dishes stacked in it. <laughs> oh, I bet you are, Delta. It's uh, just you wait. The best is yet to come. There's so many different ages you're going to have fun with. So much. All right. That is really sweet. I dig the little kitchen. Got some produce. Got your dishes. Oh, hell yeah. That's nice. That is nice. <laughs> Maxie, I blame the parents. <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? A little, looks like another little shop. Dig it. This is really cool. Nice, nicely placed. A little point of purchase placard up there on the counter. I like it. It almost, it almost vibes like the prize shelf at a carnival. Kind of has that vibe, but also definitely a shop or even a souvenir shop ah uh, here we go here's the uh the plant stand don't mind if i do yeah i remember when album and pearls uh got you the sentinels called after you just when you would harvest them from your own base, there there was a a glitch that that would cause the sentinels to go frenzied on you. That looks very, I don't know, suggestive. I would say.
Yeah, yeah, Leonaris, uh, just being nosy. It's quite late here in the UK. I'll be doing an update tomorrow on what's going to happen moving forward. But please let us know what you think of this next stage as you have been. So, yeah, if you haven't uh, already uh, checked out the Distant World Tours uh, Discord page, certainly do that. Uh, in order to get there, you can join my page or someone could drop the link, like Maxi could drop the link if Maxi has that link. And uh, like I said earlier, you have not heard the last of Distant World Tours. Um, so just, uh, just know that you'll hear more soon. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Oh, actually, yeah, Maxi, I don't think I have that one programmed in. I haven't finished doing all of the all of that stuff yet. Uh, no, Delta, uh, no one else is taking over, but I'll just just uh, just wait and wait and see for the next couple of days just to see what what the updates are i don't want to spill anything out yet if i don't I, I don't know that i have all of the facts correctly and i don't want to speak out of turn on that so just stay tuned all will be revealed all right, okay, we saw that part. Saw the food truck and the little shops. Let's see what else. Oh, let's go inside first before we check out the ship. Oh, yeah, here we go again. Like this part right here just stands out and with the purple sign to boot. One of the things I like about that sign is that it's clear from one side because you can use that for other effects and you can use that to frame other objects. And then on this side, it has like all the little readouts that are really, really fun. I got that little little stack going on right here just choo -choo -choo. let's see a little break room looks like a little <laughs> microwave wait a minute what is going on here I need someone to explain to me why these uh, Living frigate space whales are uh, are in tubes in this in this build. I'd like to know. I want to know what's going on with all that. All right, is that it? That's up here. I do believe so. All right, let's uh, let's make our way down to the ship. It does kind of look like an incubator, but it also looks like you're drinking uh, whale juice, which I thought was outlawed. Test tube whale. <laughs> oh, I got to see this. Miss this part over here. Nice little cozy fire pit. I like it. Looks all dark and charred. Although I don't think this is up to fire code. I, I think this uh, structure is too close to the fire. And I think the uh, fire marshal should come out and check that out. Oops. Right into the water. Okay. Cool, we got the little stuff around. Another little 
old captain's wheel. Crew quarters. No privacy here on a ship. <laughs> Looks uh, okay. Not sure what that was about. But I do like all the lockers and the reserve weaponry. Little windows going out. Another great part we don't have on console. Jory Roth, which one are you talking about? Which one? Maybe whale juice tastes good. <laughs> Maybe it does. Fresh squeezed even. I like all the cargo. I like the cargo sitting up deck waiting for transfer. I like that. Once again with these sails. Very cool stuff. And then the, the much more vibrant colors on this set. I like the layout. I like I like it all. What do we have here? I'm trying to see what's I'm trying to see what's uh, casting the shadow, or if it's something placed on there that I can't see. Not don't don't remember seeing that. Oh, uh, look, there's some cranes to assist with the drop-off. Got it, the giant skull over here. With another space whale. They're, they're like in tubes or in jeopardy. What, uh, what's going on? I don't know what's going on with all these space whales. I do love all the little nip nip vendors that are trucking around selling their wares. <laughs> I dig it. Lots more cargo on the dock. Got some little dining tables with food. Little Mogara cooking away. Oh, and these are more of, these are like the rocket ship ones, but without the little pyramid on the top. Almost looks like some kind of uh, phaser cannon or something. All right, let's go. All right, let's go back here first. Oh, there's different decks. Okay, let's do, let's go, let's go top down. Oh yeah, Joy Roth, the overseer control panel. Yeah, that that just uh it's an amazing, amazing part. Let's see. Oh wait, I already saw these crew quarters. Derp. Let's see what's down here. All this room, this is why there were mutinies, like all this room for the captain and all of the crew was stuffed into the tiny little, tiny little room. Ah. Fire, fireplace aboard. Oh yeah, I like the sign. The sign on top of the desk or 
literally on top of the expedition banner. I like that merge. I love how the expedition banners merge underneath the graph on the computer. I like that a lot. Love the little space stations on that sign as it rotates. That is super cool. All right, now let's go below deck to the, oh my God, look at all that nip nip. What? Quite the grow up. Tucked underneath it. No wonder there's so many little vendors running around with the nip nip. What else do we have? Oh, we've got the uh, cannon assembly room to replace any cannons that go up. Oh yeah, Maxi, it does look like a, a readout of the ship stats. Uh, what do we have here? All right. Nifty little room. I like I like the non structured storage compartments. That is really cool. They're just kind of spaced around. That is a cool idea. Like, I, I've got myself such in the habit of lining them up in some kind of configuration that it didn't even occur to me to just space them out like this and just stick stick them out individually. Love that concept. Very cool. And again, super simple, super simple, but has a great effect to it. All right, really clever build. Let's go, I don't remember, was the, oh, here we go. Let's see what else we can see on this planet. Go to other bases. Evil man beard we saw. Oh, this is Smuggler's Retreat. That's where we are right now. Uh, let's see. Okay, these are a bunch of unrelated bases, it would seem. Oh, little fat fishing shack, Smash Fuller. Yeah, let's go check out Smash Fuller's base. This is sure to be a good and well done base. Zip across. And we're here. Oh, wow. First things first. <laughs> Holy shnikes. Get a load of this. Damn. This is clever. Look at that. I just. Damn, this is clever as fuck. Wait, what is even that? The heck? What part is that? Is that one of the room divider things? I uh, can't see it. 
But damn, look at this. I'll get some light back this way. Get a shot of that. That is just magnificent. Well, Smash, you have smashed it out of the park. And like, look at this. It's not even a circle. It's an oval. Just check that out. Oh, that's so good. Like, I, I could see, you know, myself totally doing a, uh, a round version, just, but this is like extra mile stuff. And look at the ramp out of these signs. Perfectly executed. Just look at that. That perfect arch. Very nicely done. Now, not the signal booster. I was talking about the uh, this metal part right here. Maxi. Having trouble f figuring out like what part is that. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right. Let's uh, move on to the bridge. Yeah, you got that right, Joy Roth. Oh, right off the bat. Look at that. The concentric uh, plates and the star. That stone star. Very cool. I do this right here a lot. I <clears throat> I love to color glitch some of the newer um, some of the newer base parts, and you get this amazing metallic purple with with the teal sort of accents on it. And what else do we have here? Got the little ice statues, all of the statues, really. All of the statues in the various sizes. All right, now here's some uh, doors opening. Well, let's uh, go check this out down here. Oh, man, look at those max-sized arches. And we've got the pillar upside down with the torches on it. Oh, man. Oh, that's freaking amazing. And then the little sign in between this section right here. And the crescent moon and the other end are obscured. So just that center part of the sign is visible. And I got to say, I love that effect. Just love that effect. And these shapes are super cool. Look at that. Definitely a unique and Oh man, to top it off, uh, Smash did not have to do this whole thing underwater, but damn, again, going those extra, extra steps, that's, that's just so nice all the coral it's like turning turning into a coral reef and i love it 
Oh, the partition. Okay, I, that's what I was wondering, Joy Roth. <laughs> that's what was going off. <laughs> clever, clever, clever. Where is... It must have been a trick. There we go. There it goes. Must have been a proximity switch. Oh, uh, so freaking clever. Little nip nip room. Grow up. Must uh, do yoga before the before the nip nip. Or is this uh, bowing down in reverence to the nip nip? Okay, either one I can get behind. I'm I'm fine with yoga. Very orderly grow up here, making the maximum use for the space. Just look at that. Looks like a bumper crop. Oh, oh, this is fun. I love this right here in the center. Oh, damn, that's nice. Okay, I need to uh, do this real quick so I can do a selfie. Oh, yeah, that's killer. That is killer. And I love the different colors used and how the color changes as the light hits it in different ways. Just top notch. Oh, just some place to hang out while smoking, Maxi. Yeah, yeah, I'll buy that. It looks cozy. All right. Which way are we going? Okay. Okay, that's where we... That's where we started out, so we're going back across to the other side. Oops. Ha 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 ha. Oh no, am I gonna make it? Ah, just barely. All right. Okay, I, I love putting the light floors underneath like merged in with the stone tiles gives a great effect. I'm not as keen on the black lines being visible through it. I, it would it would be so much cooler if that didn't happen. But it also doesn't look terrible with the black bars. I just think it looks cleaner without them. And I like this little raised area here. Again, again, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, come on, there we go. Almost fell all the way down. Okay, like I was convinced that I could walk out on that. <laughs> that is too freaking cool. Oops. I wish they hadn't have put the base report all the way to the right because it's it's easy to hit that when you're in a hurry. Like it used to be so much easier to get into camera mode. You just mash all the way over and you didn't have to worry about stopping. Look, what is with all of the captured tubed space whales 
They're they're all in constant danger. All right, Maxi, gotta head out. I appreciate you stopping in and and doing a little mod duty for me for as long as you could. I appreciate it greatly. Have a good one, and we'll catch you later. Just uh, like this is just. I'm going to have to ask what's going on with all of these because this is seems somewhat concerning. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, it's a tiny house. What? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, it's a tiny house. It's like a dollhouse. What is this? A dollhouse for ants? What is going on? This is too cool. Now the trick is, can we... No, can't go under. Can we go in... Oh, I can't get the camera in through the door. All I can do is peer in. Oh, ah, camera won't go in there. But well, take a look. I was really hoping we could shove the camera in there, but it looks like it's not happening. Look how tiny everything is. Oh, there's so much cool stuff in there. Nice little kitchen. Got the bar going on. Got the little bar stools, planter boxes outside, statues. Got the little seating area, the fireplace. Like this, only, it, it's definitely a micro build within a build. But like, it almost vibes like. This is a whole other base that exists larger somewhere else that was just shrunken down as an added bonus for this base. This is super cool. Check out the upper. Oh, it's just raised ceiling there. Oh, but what can we see up here? Oh, 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 nice. Little diamond pattern on the floor. Got that. That's super cool. Little micro build on top of your other build. But, like, what's the story here? There's this. Then there's the fresh caught living frigate whales. What's going on? Let's see. Oh, wait, I didn't even catch this. This is a hell of a stack right here. Oh, there's a, okay, I see. There's a, this is the top of the spark plug, a giant spark plug that's buried under the ground. This is the little uh, plant. And there's a whole bunch of them glitched into a circle. And then that is the, plant with the bulb underneath it that's really tall I forget what that's called um, and the bulb is covering the base of that plant that is really nicely done very clever there oh that's that's really good that's good stuff and I like how this lights up at night. And I want to come over here because I didn't get a picture of this earlier. 
and I do want to see it all lit up at night. Oh yeah, with the planets in the background. Ha <laughs> look at that. With the ship in there too. That's a heck of a picture. Let's snap that. And then uh, let's go into settings, change the time of day. Ah, uh, check it out. Get rid of that vignette. Check that out. Gorgeous. Let's come up here because I need a shot just of that sunset. That is too cool. All right, now let's come over here. As I've said many times before, I am a sucker for a nice looking shot on the, just any any photo opportunity. I I will stop everything and snap a few shots. Let's do this a little offset. So I like the look of those islands off to the left. Nice colors in the sky. Got some stars, but you still have that sunlight peeking out over the horizon, turning everything super vibrant. Always love that. Okay. What else do we see over here? Nice little bridge. Oh, okay. All right. Was this just, oh yeah, that was just up above here. And let's go check out what we have here. Oh, a little submersible. Oh, damn, check it out. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Oh, man, that's cool. We've got the... Uh, it's all really shrunken down parts all put together. How oh, nice. We got the little tiny flaming barrels with the light from the light fissure. I've got the skulls. Hey, shock and all. Welcome in. Thank you for dropping in today. It's going pretty well. We're just, uh, aside from, uh, you know, my stream just crashing earlier. Aside from that, we're doing pretty good today. Checking out Distant World Tour bases. Uh, because you cannot kill Distant World Tours. Very cool. Love that submersible. Oh, cool. Nah, I keep saying it. Just like this is just cool as fuck. Look at this. Little fishing dock. Got some night fishing going on. I uh, love the love the elevator. <laughs> All right, let's go back up the elevator. Gotta love that. All right, what else do we have here? I think that's it for the stuff on the island. So we're going to cut back across because I saw more stuff over there. Oops, I keep getting hung up on those ships. Ship statues. Let's fly away 
Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, wow. This is a hell of a base terminus deck. Damn, would you look at that. Would you look at that? I mean, would you look at that? Oh, this is too cool. I love how everything is merged. Got some... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The stairs, the freighter stairs, all these freighter parts. Got the walls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Just freaking cool. And you can even access it through here. That's, I expected you to, I expected to have some trouble uh, accessing the terminus, but it's it's right there. It's it's pretty easy to to hit. Oh, very nice. Uh, this this whole this whole base is just exceptional. Outstanding. All right, let's move on to the next one. Yo, Enro, what's up? Thank you for popping in today. We are well on our way into Distant World Tours Phase 4. Mostly sticking in Eisentam right now. Just about to leave Smash Fuller's base, which is just exceptional. All right, let's see. Gotta look through. Okay, we gotta hit Chirpy Chirp is also in this system or on this planet, so we're gonna check it out. Just pop on over. And just a reminder, um, Games are active. Uh, heist, I think slots is active. So if you want to get in on some heists, feel free. All right. For sale, but not cheap. <laughs> right on. Let's uh, get an eye view for what's going on here. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. All right. Hey, Spock. Welcome in. Thanks for joining. Oh, that's that's a unique, a very unique shape for a build. I have not seen anything quite like that. It almost uh, gets... Yeah, I thought that was like a face. Almost looks like a bird of some kind. And what do we have over there? <laughs> looks like a, is that like a Trojan cat? It looks like a Trojan cat. That's pretty funny. It looks kind of like an owl-like almost, like that got the eyes and the beak going. And there's a perch and there's a little feet. Very clever. I like it. It's a little tucked, tucked wings. I mean, this is a smart build. Oh yeah, that that is that's really that's just awesome. We've got those planets on the horizon again. There's another planet and a moon right there. Great place to build. That's the other thing I I like is uh, like placement for builds. That's I'm really big on that. All right, 
and get a shot of this. Very nice. Chirpy chirp indeed. All right, got a couple shots there. For sale, but not cheap. Cheap, cheap. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Okay, we're inside the we're inside the bird. Got lots of seating areas, fireplaces, couches with cushions. Uh, let's see what's oh all right. Okay, that must be going up to the next pod of the like the bird's head, I think. I dig the bar. Oh yeah, I saw I saw someone else do a similar grill and this is just amazing. And I'm definitely going to steal that. All right, I'm in the way again. Time to get out of the way. Look at that. Very nicely done. Love the sound. Okay, that's a different uh, I like I like the I like the sink. It's different than how most of us have done it with the lighted table shrunken down. But I like this. This is pretty, it's pretty nice. Got some bar snacks going. Got the little terrarium on the stool. Yeah, I, I, I agree, culinary zest. I too love a good ki kitchen. Oh, and here we've got the just like I was talking about, the lighted table shrunken down, used as a sink. Very cool. Got the little bathroom going. I've used that exact, like that exact setup. Oh, but instead of the canister underneath, I used like the bucket, I think. No, I used an octo cabinet for the base. I've also used the octo cabinet upside down and shrunken down as a trash can in the bathroom. It works out pretty great for that. Yeah, fire fireplace in the kitchen, right? Let's see what else have we got. Let's go upstairs. Check out that next level. Got lots of fun little two top seating. It's uh only couples on this deck. That's a, it's a fun little like restaurant seating area is what I'm taking that to be. All right, let's see where we're going. Oh, that that's where we came in. So over here, this goes up. That's it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Another chess board. I like it. I like the, the, the other chessboard that we saw earlier had the posters underneath it uh, that kind of gave it the illusion of squares, and that was really nice. <laughs> yeah, on a private island, sold, I'll move in this weekend. <laughs> 
You got that right, culinary zest. Oh, look at that. A little atlas shaped uh, pillow pad or a bed, a pillow bed. Oh, that's pretty nifty. I like it. Whoa. Whoa, these cupboards. Cupboard doors. And you can just see inside to see that there's stuff in there. Got the uh, covered brick stack and some of the uh, tied up rugs. Is that what they're called? I can't remember what they're called. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, yeah, for sure, Enra. The cupboards just... And they're like not perfect, so that they're kind of janky, so they look old. And I, and I love that vibe. That's that's that extra creativity right there. Very cool stuff. But I feel like all right, is there like another spot that we're missing? Uh, well, maybe not. I think I think it's probably it. Can we? We should be able to go outside. Okay, that's the bathroom. Can't go outside there. I'm guessing that I was expecting where the, where the wings are. I, I was thinking those might have been little observation decks, but I guess not. So let's go back down. hit that photo mode yeah for sure culinary zest very good out of the box thinking oh okay I was thinking that there might have been like some of this space might have been available like a little tiny balcony would have been nice right there on either side that would have been fun but this is very cool build. Just check that out. Very creative. I haven't seen anyone do anything quite like that before. And let's uh, see if we can jetpack over to the other side. All right, made it. Let's uh, check out this cat over here. Is that, is it just, can you get into it? Maybe from up top, let's see if we can, ah, oh, there we go. There's an entrance right there. Oh yeah, and for those who weren't here earlier to see this, it's uh, it's like a cat shaped. I think it's the cat that chases after the canary over there. Got a little cat box. <laughs> cat box. All right. It's uh, okay. That is not hooked up, or I just can't access it. Let's see. Oh, can't get in there. There we go. Haha, -ha, now we're talking. Inside the head. Empty head. Man, can I understand that sometimes? Looks like not much was done here. Ok, 
Okay, it looks like each level is accessible. Let's head back up. Schrodinger's cat. What have we here? Keep hitting the wrong button. Whoa. All right. Okay, now let's see if there is another build on this planet that we haven't seen. Okay, we went to the fishing shack. Went to smuggler's retreat. We did not go to Kren base. Let's check that out and see what we got here. All right, coming in for a landing. Coming in hot. This is probably my fastest ship that I have. We are clocking in at 4,082.5 maneuverability. It's pretty zippy. Okay, what do we have here? Is this it or is it still rendering in? I'm guessing that it's still rendering in. So we'll take a take a look around here. Crin base last edited by Crin. All right. Got some dirt floors going. Looks like, uh, I don't know what we've got going on here. Got a bar. This looks kind of unfinished. Grassy pod. Got some tires. It's either unfinished or it's kind of in ruins and abandoned. I'm not sure which we're looking at here. Lots of battery bank. Let's see what we have over here. Yeah, I'm thinking that it's not, uh, I think this is a work in progress. So actually, since we're here, let's check out the base terminus. Try other bases, see what else, see if there's anything that we have missed. The Chronic Outpost, is that here on this planet? Does not say. A bunch of these are no man's high bases, so it's having a little bit of a trouble uh, discerning what is in this system and what isn't. All right. I think what we're going to do is we will move on to the next on the list. Um, so let's go back over to our portal. At, here we go, a portal in Eisentam. We'll head over there as I look up the glyphs for the next build. Let's see. 
I think we're going to, ah, here we go. We are going to check out uh, a build by Livin' Loud. Livin' Loud is a base builder in the No Man's High community. And uh, just amazing builder. I, I have learned a lot by checking out his builds, the, the way he envisions base parts is, is unique and uh, one worth checking out. So we're going to go check out one of his bases and let's get this address going. the rest of the glyphs got diplo moon rocket ship moon tornado pointer all right let's zip on over here i've actually seen this build before uh, but i don't know if he has updated it since it's been a while And so with this, uh, with all the, the information that I have for phase four, uh, what I don't have is like all the waypoint numbers and whatnot. Um, those will be coming out later, I believe. And uh, you'll be able to see those hopefully soon. Oh, I missed that comment earlier in a uh, Trojan horse. Uh, it's like a Trojan cat very much. Very much. I, I do love, it looks like some of the particle effects are coming back. I love the, uh, like the electricity arcs that are shooting through there. It's not as dull as it was. I guess maybe they brought some of that back for this patch that just came out. But I'm so glad that some of the particle effects are back. I'll have to keep my eye out for for further uh, updates. All right, where's the ship? Oh, yeah, so I was showing... Uh, the ship a little bit ago and talking about how how much the maneuverability was oh but first i gotta get a picture of my <laughs> staff just stabbed into the side that's freaking hilarious that is too funny it's like i caught it like like I hit somebody while I while I was flying I got too close to the ground and took someone out so yeah this uh I love this ship it's purple and red and so I it the name of it is purple red corvette and the planet it is on is called purple rain and all of the planets in the in the system are named after uh, Prince albums, and the system is called Paisley Park. All right, where were we at? We are up and checking out this build. How's oh, a nice looking planet? All right, is that where we're going? Ah, yes, yes it is. Ah, okay, we're not that far away, too close. 
too close to uh, pulse over there so we'll just glide on over just a nice leisurely jet around the planet so we come in for a landing All right. And this is called where's the base computer? It's inside the ship, which first off, just check this out. Look at that. How clever is that? I know it took him a long time to figure out how to get all of that to work just right. One of the most unique ship engine designs I've ever seen. You got what looks like uh, sort of the, it's got some Star Trek vibes looks like kind of like a shuttlecraft a little bit like the defiant look at this look at that yeah for sure the godfather it, it's a very unique way for for building the the turbines on the back end and then look at this merge the batteries with the bubble tubes and then the little uh, locker piece part I usually use that as a refrigerator <laughs> it works out pretty well and then look at that Just like the, the whole thing. And then these, we've got the uh, large refiner and we've got the, um, the, the storage or no, what part is that again? I forget the name of that part. But all of these pieces merged in together to create the guns. And I've got all these antenna. And then I guess those are like the scanner arrays. Kill counter. Look at that. <laughs> Just a killer ship. And look, look you got to check this part out too. Look at the look at the landing gear. The landing gear is just top notch. Gas extractor, spark plug, and the uh, uh, it's like the cabinet that goes on the wall. So good. And then we'll go and check out the inside of the ship. We've got the green decals. We've got all these great little stations. We've got the oxygen harvester, octo cabinet. Oh, right. So over here, where is it? Oh, here we go. So that is a bay for a giant mech. And he is exemplary at making uh, freestanding mech 
creatures or uh, bots. Oh, hey, JSLEX, welcome in. Yeah, yeah, the cannons are, are just sick. Like, ju just living loud is incredible when it comes to uh, just unique ways of putting stuff together. I mean, check this out. Like the little workshop. I, I forgot to, I, I didn't notice the last time I was here, but the, the red and blue. And so I got to wonder if that is a red versus blue nod, if that was purposeful in his build or not. You got a ladder going up to this area. We've got the base terminus. I mean, check that out. <laughs> it's just so good. Got the save point over there. Oh, yeah, he did put some of the new parts in there. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Check it out. Oh, yeah. You got the arcade game going. Got to wait in line for the arcade. No stacking quarters. You got to sit your ass down there. Check it. <laughs> Everybody's personal lockers. <laughs> Oh, I accessed the terminus. That's funny. Oh, a little pipe. We'll see uh, see the little pipes around No Man's High a lot. Oh, this is a great wall. I like the way they're all kind of fit together. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Sykes, yeah, he's he's really good at interiors, as you can see. I mean, look at all this. There's the cockpit. Uh, just look at that. Just look at it. we go very cool yeah for sure updated the godfather uh oh sorry okay oh and i'm outside of the ship all right go back in and finish checking everything out Here's the other side. There's the red parts, blue parts. Look at that. <laughs> the assembly repair shop. All right, so you might ask yourself what, uh, why? And we can see the red mech is already out here. But what 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 is it doing out here? Well, I'll show you. That is what it's doing out here. It has come to investigate and destroy if necessary this beast. Check out the colors. Look at the placement of all the parts. 
the unhinged jaws, the, the four-way open jaw, freaky, 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 the claws. Got all of the compound bulbs going on in a line all the way back, all the way around. Just the detail. Got that one leg on the inside. Magnificent. Free and love this build. It's been a while since I've been here, and I'm so glad that he updated it. Check out the Mac. And he's built tons of these Macs. Got the lobster claw going. Got the guns. Got the can laser cannons on the, look at this right here. just so well put together and like I've said so many times so it, it's just it's very simple but maximum effect and uh, so for those interested, if you want to see this one up close, uh, there's the coordinates in Eisentam. Feel free to check that out. Leave it up there for a second more. And once again, Eisentam. All right, get another shot of the ship itself. Oh wait, need to climb up top and get a get a selfie. Make myself visible. Expose myself, as it were. go oh yeah that's a that's a fun shot fun selfie all right we are going to move on let's find the next Let's find us the next um, tour spot. Head first to our portal base. That'll eliminate a step. Okay. All right, I have found our next destination. This is a group build, and we've got Cassididi, Wraith Raptor, Wraith Raptor, Gashopper, Leonaris, and some guy named Enra Silver or something. All right, this is the Thunderbirds collab from Old Eyes Hub. So it's a little bit of an older build, but I'm sure that a lot of people have not seen it before. 
So we're going to hop over and check that out. And uh, let's put in our address. Activate portal. Let's see, we've got Diplo, Sunset, Space Whale, Pointer, Triforce, Dragonfly, Pointer, Pointer, Ship, uh, we've got Tent, Diplo, Sunset. All right. Okay, that was a weird thing for the camera to do. How strange. Okay, the particle effects are not on this this one, but that animation is different. Look at that. That is a different animation. Get a quick snippet of that. Well, huh. That's pretty wild. I like it. All right. I'm wondering if that's one of the things with this new with this latest uh, uh, update that we got the little bug fixes that's what I'm guessing <laughs> when you say old are you talking Enro with a beard old <laughs> that's that's pretty funny joy Roth. um yeah i i can't i'm not sure how old this one is uh i remember it being posted some time ago but i cannot remember when that was Thunderbirds. Let's zip. Oh, what the heck? Ah, uh, you guys with your fleet. Let's see, what is that one over there? Thunderbird four. Thunderbird five. Tracy Island. That kind of like sticks out <laughs> one of these things is not like the others two of these things the mole okay which one are we going to see here this just says thunderbirds collab warping out of the Okay. All right. Let's check out Thunderbirds 2. Or is that on a different... Okay, that's on a different planet. Thunderbirds 4 is on a different planet. Let's check out Thunderbirds 5. Maybe this one is 5 because 5 people worked on it. Hey, Throttle Jockey. Welcome in. Thanks for joining today. We are checking out builds for Distant World Tours in Eisentam. And this is not the base I thought we were going to see. But hey, we're here and this looks cool as fuck. So we are going to unhook ourselves first. 
and uh, let's see is there a place to land is there a place down there there we go all right oh wait that is not that is not where we're hmm how do we get up there nope those are just crystals let's see let's try to let's try it one oh, okay no that's not it it's freaking amazing is what it is but I'm not seeing a place to land hmm Well, let's just see what we can see. Oh, man, that's sweet looking. Got some freighter parts. Got like a nice saucer build ship. Freaking love the tubes all the way around with the airtight doors in between each segment. I love that whole glow. Whoa. That is beautiful. Intergalactic. This isn't some sort of intergalactic kegger. Or maybe it is. Let's see, does the other side say anything? It'd be great if it said planetary. Oh, intergalactic rescue. Thunderbird 5. This is very cool. see here maybe there is a spot down here and I'm just not seeing it hell maybe there's a, a short-range teleporter inside the building we will check it out okay no dice Sounds like stranger things in here. Don't mind if I do help myself to a little bit of nanites. Pocket change nanites. All right, I'm not seeing a way how to get up there. Let's look over here a little bit, see if there's something that I missed. Beautiful planet. Love the purple treetops and then the little dark magenta trees interspersed in. Yeah, I am not seeing any kind of access point or way up there. Hmm. All right. We'll check out some of the other builds then. Let's stick around on this planet. Let's check out Tracy Island. And maybe Tracy Island was where the TV show Thunderbirds like that's where the hideout was. I can't remember. 
It's been so long since I saw that very, very old show. Ah, oh, look at all the purple and white. So wheat. Very nice. Oh, look at this half natural pool. <laughs> oh, I love it. I freaking love it. Oh, all right. If you're unfamiliar, can we still get into? No, didn't mean to do that. Yes. Down in the underworld. In the bottom of the pool. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is great. This is a fantastic way to utilize that feature. Oh, this is really nice. Just enough space to walk around. I love playing around with uh, the underworld. Haven't done it in a long time. I should give that a shot again sometime at some point. Oh, that's so good. Very nice use of that. All right, there's the that no can't read anything so the base computer is down below let's see if we can get down underneath there yep all right tracy island oh this is leonaris <laughs> oh my gosh oh funny right on this is cool I love all of this uh, sort of decking area. Look at that garden. Is that a garden area? That's awesome. Looks like planting season. Got a fun cat going on here. Four legs, not six legs. Can you imagine a, a real six-legged cat? Oh my gosh. Regular cats are, are enough of a handful. Six-legged cat? This is fun. I like this. Oh, what do we have? Ah, <laughs> just fell right out the back door. <laughs> not expecting that I assure you little desk okay I wish uh, Leonaris was still hanging out with us in in chat so she could explain what's going on here very cool nonetheless I think we can still enjoy it. Little meeting room here, outside meeting room. More seating around. Oh, a nice bar. More seating area and an inside bar. Espresso machine. Very cool. I dig it. Nicely done, Leonaris, wherever you are. All right, where is... Where's the terminus? Can't find it. That's all right. 
Where is my ship up on that ridge? Wait, it was up this way, right? Oh, hey, stop that. Let's get a little view up above. Oh, whoa. Check out this gazebo. What? What? Oh, man. Oh, that is cool. Let's uh, do a little spin around, get little aerial shot going yeah the colors joy roth are, are pretty fantastic oh it all despawned down there all right this is a cool little above it all lounge area there's the ship over there oops Okay, this is a fun little complex. But the swimming pool, oh, top notch. And all of the resort like vibes going with it. All right, let us get to the ship and let's go to the next build. All right, Thunderbird 2 and 4 are off planet. Let's go over there to this build. Why is it, why is it doing that? There we go. The mole. Let's see what we got going here. The mole. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I get it. The mole. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that is too good. Let's get a little shot of that. Dang. Let's see who did this one. Last edited by Cassidy. Right on. Those tank treads. And I like how they are not like really perfect. They look more like treads that sag a little bit. Get a little look, closer look at that. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's well done. Got 
the little hydraulics. Tilt the mole into the hole. Whoa, and the sounds. Listen to that. That's great. <laughs> oh. Ah. Need some uh, mag boots to navigate this. Yeah, the tilt Joyroth. Just like well done. Toggle power flow. Nice. Whoa, what have we got here? <laughs> oh, kind of hard to navigate through parts of this. Uh, sweet, so you can see into the cave. Man, it's pretty loud in here. Damn, this is cool. This is so cool. Let's pop up through again. Oh, sweet. I just like the way all of these hatches are. I am really in the way this time. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is super cool. Oh, didn't mean to come all the way out. Let's uh, hop back up here a little bit. Wanted to check this area out. Very nice. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, we got a big old shadow over us. Very cool. I love, I love the use of parts here. This, this whole thing is just cool. Got three landing pads. All right. Let us... Move on to the next build. And away we go. All right. Let's see. Okay, we saw Thunderbird 5, but we couldn't land on it. Unless something just wasn't working right. All right, let's check out some of these off-world. Check out Thunderbirds 2. Zip right on over. Really loving these builds that we're checking out today. Exemplary stuff all around. This right here is just like further show of the magic that is the No Man's Sky community. Incredible stuff. Whoa. <laughs> All right, we 
we've got this crashed freighter. And what is this? This is Leonaris, Thunderbirds 2. But what is that one? Oh, okay, that's just a... Oh, uh, okay. Oh, there's no way I can jetpack up there. Let me try to fly up and land up there. Does not look like a landing pad. It's a little bit smaller than I thought at first. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Things are starting to uh, starting to load in. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to see if I can jetpack up that high. Maybe, just nope, I don't think so. Oops, no. All right, we're gonna have to just uh, take a look in camera mode. Oh, that is really cool. The airfoil. Propulsion. The intake jets. Very nice with a frigate in the background. That's a cool looking pick. Oh, let's see if we can see in the windows. Oh, yeah, there we go. We can see in the window. Can we go inside? No, nope, can't fit in there. Let's see if there's another way in. Around the back side. Nope. Underneath. I'm not seeing a way in here. <clears throat> Love those windows, though. So cool. Just the placement of everything is really nice. That is a great looking shape. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Love the way that those parts cross over each other right there up front. Yeah, super cool curves on that. Like, And there's so much uh, variation. It's not just like one curve throughout the whole thing. Like it. There's, there's lots of different intersecting curve lines, and that's pretty spectacular right there. Fantastic look. Very high-level build. Getting all of those details to work out. Good stuff. All right. Next... Let's see if we can go check out where's Thunderbirds 4 is what we're looking for now. I think that's it. Yep. All right. Let's go. Ah. 
pardon me while I have a little beverage here. Throat's a little dry. Oh, I ran out of fuel. That's something that hasn't happened in a little bit. Discovered by Gashopper. Here we go. Man, so many lush worlds in this system. Love it when that happens. I cannot land there. What? Can't land. No. Can't. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, let's... Uh, What's the closest? Is this island the closest? That island? I think this island's the closest. All right, here we go. We'll just uh, jet pack out to it. Get as close as we can. Dive. Here we go. What have we got here? Oh, uh, I like this light array. <laughs> that is really cool. It looks like there's a crash site here with no ship. Let's see who, oh, this is from Inra. I don't think Inra is in the chat anymore. Looks like there was supposed to be a ship there. Oh, look at those little sea creatures. Love those snakes. Sea snakes. Whoa, this is nice. Can we access? We cannot access. Rude. That is rude. How do we how can we not get in there? Ah. There we go. That did it. Oh, this is sweet. Swivel chair. By golly, I want to sit in it. What do you mean that's a swivel chair? Damn it. Oh, look, you got little pedals down there. Little flight control pedals. Oh, yeah, this is, this is so nice. Hey, hey, look at that. I always forget to put stuff in mine. <laughs> Feel like uh, I need a I need a giant suitcase packed full of nip nip. That's what I need to put in a base. Very cool. Do any of these do anything? I hear something. Maybe that wasn't. Oh, that was the door sound. Yeah, door sound. 
Okay, never mind. I like the glass windows. Nice big viewing area for your submersible. No back room, just this one room. Just walk back out. Okay. And we'll get back up here. I wonder if I can call my ship in here. Haha, -ha, I was able to call it. I just couldn't land. Oh. All right. Let's see. So we want to. We're still not. We're still not seeing the base that was in the information that I got. And it's the Thunderbird ship. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. Smuggler's Archive, Flow Garden. 3.43. Well, I am not seeing it. It's the giant Thunderbird ship is what we should be seeing. But I am not seeing the base marker for it. Thunderbird 4, that's where we're at now. Thunderbird 5. Oh yeah, the one earlier, uh, the with the big beast coming out of the ground that was living loud. Survey encounter at Velascus. Four four one zero nine four dash C. All right, am I missing something? Is my I think my brain's going too fast for my eyes to keep up. Nope. 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 Thunderbird 2, Tracy Island. Nope and nope. No, I'm not seeing the main build that we're supposed to be seeing here. So I guess we'll just, oh wait, it was part of five. So let's zip into five. That's how we can get into Thunderbird five. Oh, and I'm looking at the notes and it actually so Thunderbird 5 is part of, there's two bases together. Two base computers. Two very close base computers. wonder if that's why it wasn't showing up very well. But hey, we're going to see it. So here we go. Any minute now. Like any minute now. No? Now. Now? No. Okay, this is taking a little bit. Okay, it's taking a lot. And still going. This is uh, not uh, not great. One of my bases I have this problem with, also in Eisentam. It's my giant mushroom build. 
that I will have on again at some point. I want to talk about that one. Sometimes it can take 10 minutes just to get on the planet. And it usually happens just after an update or right before an update. And uh, I'm guessing that there might be a larger problem with this. And we might need to drop out because this is taking way too long. If you're just joining us, we are stuck in warp. This is the all warp hour with Dashboard Devil. We're trying to see some Distant World Tours Phase 4 builds that I got access to. And uh, I think I'm going to have to hop out if I can get any of my buttons to work. Oh, joy. All right. I might have to shut down the game and restart. Let's see what I can do. This is unfortunate. Okay. Come on. All right. We are going to stop it and restart. And I think we might have to skip it, skip that build, because it is just not cooperating. And hopefully you will soon see uh, something other than a blue screen, which you are seeing right now. And we are slowly booting up here. Um, you know what? I think we're going to do something a little bit different. Let's see what Streamlabs is doing over here. It should be doing everything just right. Let me get over here. Okay, let's see if that worked. Oh, it is not working. <laughs> it should be. It is not. Let's give it a second to see if. Ah, oh, come on. All right, let's give it another couple of seconds. Since I hit that. All right, I am now on a planet. And it should be showing you that planet. And it is not. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Not cooperating at all. What the heck is going on? Well, I was going to go on for a little bit longer. However, with things not cooperating, um, I'm probably going to have to call it a wrap. It is getting close to dinner time. But I do appreciate you all joining me today as glitchy as it is. And uh, stay tuned. I'll be doing more. I'll be doing more uh, Distant World Tour streams 
and at some point we'll maneuver back around to base building because I am in the I've, I've got a few bases in the works so I want to do uh, some of that uh, type of stream as well and once again thank you for joining a uh, link in the description for the no man's high discord and my own streaming discord feel free to join those if you'd like and uh, have a great day night whatever it is for you i hope it's wonderful and you're having a good time have a good night okay have a good time everyone <laughs> bye, -bye.